My name is Sam Thompson and I come from Attleboro, Massachusetts. I have been a member of the Dark Room for about five years. I wanted to do something that wasn't so related to computers and technology anymore. I needed kind of like an analog refuge to go to when I was out of work. And uh, now I'm a key member and it's, it's, it's given me like a, a mission, like a path. It's, you know, I've got a reason to be here every Wednesday night. The darkroom photography is, because you're right there, you're watching the chemical reactions happen right in front of you. It's, it's almost like magic when you first drop that piece of paper in the developer and you see this image that you created just appear on it. Um, I, I still get a charge out of it. And I love teaching because I get to see other people get that charge for the first time too. And that's really rewarding. Photomem was the first class that I took here at ASU 20 and it's helped guide me through my life. Photography has been a real big hobby of mine and it's helped me decide what I want to do and that's study art in college. What really caught my attention was street photography, like Southern Providence that no one knows about, the places that I see all the time when I'm going down just riding my bike. After that, I'm like starting to expand into portrait photography. Uh, I knew nothing else about Providence except about ASU 20, which I had heard about in Iowa, believe it or not. Um, so being able to know that I had a place to work and also a way to meet people being new to Providence um, and having a community of like-minded people that are interested in photography and keeping um, analog alive has been huge. The darkroom is important to keep at AS220 and it's not important just for AS220 but for everyone in the area because there's no alternative to it. There are no other community darkrooms within any reasonable traveling distance of here. We have all the chemistry here and that's available to anybody who uses the darkroom. You don't have to procure your own chemistry. Without this I wouldn't be able to do this. Without AS220 I would not be able to create my art. We need to stay here and we need to be teaching and I'd just like to see more people utilizing it and more people learning. Really there's, there's no substitute for hands-on experience.